right, gang, Sharp Shot 21 here. Tonight is the last set of parts for the Voron V2. I have had it up and running-ish. I had some issues. Um, but I got the parts printed for the filter housing. I got the parts printed for the skirts. I don't have all the parts for the skirts just yet, but I've detailed out where the things need to connect to. So it's all going to go on tonight, um, less the fans that I'm missing, which Hopefully we'll be here. They would have been here today, but I got the wrong ones shipped from Amazon somehow. So, it is what it is. No big deal. We will get what we can put on, and you know where the stuff that we can't get put on will go. So, let, uh, let me get you set up and we'll get started. Alright, so a couple things to do first. Is we've got side skirts and front and rear skirts. Two sets of fronts and rears. So, we've got lefts and rights. We've got two sets of those. We've got the sides, centers, lefts, and rights. insert in. Um, hopefully this one works. They've been a little tricky to come with. But we have a few heat sets to install in these parts. And I have a little baggie and hopefully there's enough in here. If for what we need We've also got the belt covers, the fans uh, tickets, and the hold downs for the back panel. On the bottom of some of these, mainly the A's and B's for the fronts and the back, and the center pieces on the side, there are holes at the bottom for heat suits. So we are going to get these opened up and put some heat suits in. So this is pretty standard stuff with putting these in. Well, that iron cool off some. Also on these, we have two holes on the loop, which need inserts. I'll come back when I've got all these inserts in, except for the ones on this guy. We'll walk through this one together. Okay, so going into this, Right. Going into this, we got four heat certs for the fan, one heat cert for the door, and then two heat certs to hold the grill and the, um, I guess, the hangers for it. So, we're going to go these four, that one. Those two.
should be all the heat starts that we need. <laughs> One other thing we're going to do is I printed this off. I'll put a link in the description to it. This is a nozzle torque wrench, or the printed part of it. We then need to take one of these shanks. It's a hex, the quarter inch. Push that in, and then you put a 7 mil socket on top, which mine haven't arrived yet. And then as you tighten it down, once it gets to a certain tight torque, it will skip and not let you tighten it any further. So this is quite handy. Again, I'll put the link down in the description for this thing. Because no, I didn't make it. Now, last thing to do is to make the um, active carbon filthy city. So let me go find those. Okay. So we just cut it about halfway down. So it looks like it's going to be two sheets. Four of those, and we're done. Okay. Now there are two different sides for these. I want to put the ones with the screw hole at the close that digs in up top. I believe that's how they're supposed to go. And I believe those are th in three by eights for this. Yeah, that looks to be the way to do it, just so that you have them centered. Okay, because I can't get the printer up here to mount these. Mounting these middle pieces, take M5 by 10s. So you need two M5 by 10s. The side pieces for those need M3 by 8s. These pieces also need M3 by 8s. These will need to get VHB taped to these. The other thing is these have a little uh, dish. The dish goes to the inside. That way these thin 
panel mounts with the big tab can mesh into them. So that's important. As for this, these need M3 by 12s. It's then an M3 by 8 for this. And the fan mounting is M3 by 30s. So let me get these all mounted up. I'll get the printer back up here actually to mount this one. This is a little tricky. So I'll be back once the skirts are mounted. Time to put the filter on, or well, the filter housing and filter. Which first starts with the grill. And that goes inside and nestles ooh, nicely up in there. So this will jump in like this. So I'm going to run some screws through it. Standoffs oh. are going to hold it in position. So I'm going to get this set up and then this will kind of just sit over the edge here. And I'll come back when it's time to put the door on. Okay, so I've got this mounted. I used M3x8s up here. You're supposed to use M3x10s. But I need the M3x10s because I've got these handles that we're going to put on so we can actually move it. These handles are from the 2.4. You can still get them off of the, uh, the GitHub. I have put the cover on. That is secured by one final M3x8. Also, my fan housing is warped a little bit, I've just noticed, I think. But it still seals. I might also VHB tape this on when I print a second one without any warp. Just because right now it kind of doesn't seal at the bottom. Not an issue per se, but it all depends on what you want to do. Now, it's time to put the Bowden tube on. And this is my temp one, or my demo. This tube is supposed to run all the way through this fitting and into the pattern. No, no, it goes all the way through. to drill it out. Let me find the drill and the bits. Alright, so we're putting the pattern tube back on. Put it on this side. I've just snapped it in. I'm not running a nut on it just yet because I don't know if this is going to be my final resting spot. From here, we can run it through the pattern connection on the back. to be the best I can get. That lets me run the tube from the back and 
all the way down to the front here. This will let us put the spool on. And yes, I did swap spool holders to the larger one that's in the Voron users mods. Because the standard Voron one does not fit uh, Amazon Prime spools. Excuse me. I swapped the spool holder for the one that fits from the GitHub in the Voron users mods folder. Because the standard one doesn't fit uh, Amazon Prime Basics filament spools. It's not wide enough. This one's a bit too wide, but it works. So that's all done. Last thing to do is these handles. I want to put them somewhat centered. I will do it right there. So that's where those are going to run. I might measure it, get them in the right spot, but that's handles on. It's held on by a uh, M5 by 10s. I'm going to put some cage nuts or some uh, rolling T nuts in. And that is the bar assembled from a basically a printed forward kit. So yeah, that's the Voron assembled from basically a printed forward kit, even though I printed my own kit um, on a V0. I had to put it together, print a few things, and then finish putting it together. So I hope you guys found this uh, somewhat useful, or at least insightful on how to do it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below or PM me, and we will uh, see if we can get things taken care of. Also, there is a Voron Discord. I'll link that down in the bottom of this video as well. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Sharks out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out, and it lets you know when I put something new up. New videos will be going up on Tuesdays or Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And if I do decide to do live streams, I will try to give 24 hours notice so hit the subscribe button on the channel and you'll be notified when I post that stuff too. Hope to see you next time. Sharps out.